This episode of AMSA TV is proudly brought to you by Australian General Practice Training. For many medical students, the idea of health is a purely academic one. Most of us are young and we feel like we're a bit invincible. We also tend to overlook the importance of our own health while we're looking after everyone else's. As with many things in life, taking the first step to improving our health is often the hardest. So what should you do when you do get sick? What steps should you take? Today in this edition of AMSA TV we're talking about GPs and why you should have a GP to help when you do get sick. Dr Rosanna Capolingo, thank you very much for talking to us today. So what we're talking about today is the importance of students having their own GP. What do you think are some of the characteristics that students should be looking for in their GP? The first thing you've got to find is uh, someone that you can relate to and someone who relates to you so that you can have a conversation which has got trust in it. As a medical student, you, you're, you know, you've got a fair amount of knowledge and awareness and you have a bit of experience seeing other people who are sick or affected by illness. And sometimes you get inhibited about telling another doctor what your fears or anxieties might be or what reflections you're having about how your own well-being is because you're a medical student. So if you have a good relationship with someone, a good conversation with another GP, then you can tell them the things that you're really thinking and feeling and then the GP can objectively, you know, assess you and reassure you or investigate you if that's necessary or give you the treatment or advise you as is required. So it's about the relationship first of all. And are there any other things we should look for? I guess as a med student you're sometimes time poor, you're also quite self-conscious about being seen by doctors, um, you may be financially poor, so you need someone that's accessible, maybe someone that's contemporary in age, but it, you know age doesn't have to be a barrier, you know you can have a good relationship with someone who's a lot older than you and is a GP and a mentor. Uh, or someone who's more contemporary that will last with you for the next 20 or 30 years in a doctor-patient relationship. Um, the consideration about bulk billing, certainly uh, there are many doctors who will bulk bill their colleagues and will bulk bill med students. Of course that's up to the individual but I know that uh, AMSA is you know, getting up a campaign about you having your own GPs and looking at that issue whether there are financial barriers to stopping students from seeing a doctor and if we can get doctors who will reassure medical students that they'll be bulk billed then we can wipe that barrier out. We understand that being a medical student can be stressful and financially difficult at times so we're hoping to make it as easy as possible by finding GPs who are interested in working with students and also able to bulk bill students during their time at medical school. AMSA is currently in the process of working on a database which will have information on these GPs. So keep checking back on the AMSA website www.amsa.org.au and this should be launched early in 2012 so keep having a look out for it. So there we have it. Today we've heard about the importance of students having their own GP during medical school and knowing that even if you're not sick now there probably will come a time in the future when you're going to need your own GP. We'd encourage you to keep looking at the AMSA website and keeping an eye out for the Get a GP campaign. Best of luck with your exams in the future and we'll see you next year.